Hi, this is Darren from uh, EnglishTutor.org and I'm, I'm the English Tutor. Uh, today I would like to make a quick video about uh, the usage of mobile phones uh, during lessons. Uh, as we understand that uh, many schools have disallowed right, the, the, the use of handphones during lessons. In fact, most teachers, they just don't allow the use of handphones, right? And that's made very clear. And some schools even go as far as saying that uh, students should not bring handphones to the schools. Right, I, I think these measures are very understandable because uh, the presence of handphones can create uh, many problems from, for the teachers as well as the school. Right, for example, a student may get distracted during lessons and then just uh, you know try to sneak sneak in the handphone, right? Then put it under the table and then uh, you know, use their handphones for, for their own entertainment purposes. Okay, and uh, this in itself is a distraction and they are not focused on uh, the, the teacher uh, delivering the lesson so as a result they they do not master uh, the content and then the lesson objective is not met so uh, as for schools um, of course schools do not want uh, any uh, disciplinary issues with regards to the po to, to the use of handphones because when the when the teachers discover the use of the handphones so what teachers do usually okay is to maybe they will start by giving a warning all right but if um, that does not change and the students continue to use the handphones then the only solution is to confiscate a handphone right and then it becomes a disciplinary issue okay so uh schools uh you know, do not want to deal with that so uh okay and for myself my lessons okay i do not um allow the use of handphones as well but having said that okay there are certain situations that uh, i do allow students to use handphone first of all they have to ask permission they cannot just whip out their handphone and then start punching numbers and alphabets in it, right? Because uh, I want them to respect the, 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 the authority, okay? And uh, I also want them to understand that it is not that the handphone is an evil object that will cause a lot of problems, right? I want them to understand that if they can use technology in a responsible manner, right? For example, if they're using the handphone just to look up some information or to check uh, the meanings of words, then that is perfectly all right, all right. But in the beginning, you know, because uh, kids being kids, they they do not know where we draw the lines. So uh, I think uh, they need some guidance, right, as to when is a good time, uh, to use the handphone for what purpose, right? So girls, if you don't give them any guidelines, right, if they pick up the handphone and uh, once they get home, right, they 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 have uh, almost unlimited usage. Right on their handphone. So what will they do? Right, they will go online, WhatsApp their friends, and they they will literally spend hours, okay, chatting with their friends online. Right, I know this from experience because some of my students are doing that. Um, as for boys, what will they do? Boys, boys do not spend a lot of time chatting, right? But most of the time, they spend a lot of time gaming, and I know that, you know, could be a tricky area because uh, gaming can lead to addiction, and then addiction you know, just kind of compounds the problem. And that is something uh, that uh, we want to avoid. Uh, so for my lessons, I think uh, it is important to educate them. Okay, in fact, uh, for the older students in the secondary level, okay, I do teach them about uh, media and technology. And I want them to understand that uh, the use of technology okay, can be done in a responsible way. Okay, in no way, uh, the technology is responsible for all the negative consequences that are, you know, arising out of the use of technology. Okay, a lot of it depends on the user, right? And I want them to understand that if they can use technology in a responsible manner, okay, they're responsible, they earn the trust. So I think, uh, it's easier for parents, teachers, and, and, <laughs> you know, even the schools, you know, to trust them more and more eventually, okay, with the use of um, handphones, right? And we have to understand that the handphone is not just a basic communication device, right? The handphone now, essentially, it is like a mini computer, right? It has the CPU inside, it has RAM, okay? It can, you can do all sorts of things, uh, on your, uh, on your smartphone, right? You can, uh, fire up apps, you can type Word documents, business documents, if you want to, you can send emails. So, if you give a child, a smartphone, you are essentially giving him access to a mini computer, right? And then that comes, uh, the, the, the problems that are normally associated with having access to 
a computer, right? In my days, we, I grew up in a time when smartphones are not available yet, right? But still, we have similar problems because we have access to the computer, right? The personal computer. Then we have the student sitting in front of the computer playing games for the whole day and then they neglect their schoolwork, neglect their homework and all that kind of nonsense that come with it. Uh, until, you know, uh, uh, my parents and, and my relatives, you know, they, they were all trying to come up with solutions, right? And the way they tackle this problem is to hide the power cord, alright? So that we have no access to the, to the power, right? So, uh, but kids being kids, right? They are always very smart. So what we did last time was to try and find alternative power cords from other electric, uh, electronic, uh, appliances, okay? And then use it on the computer and we discover that it works. Right, and before uh, our parents come back, we <laughs> just quickly switch back uh, the power cables. Okay, and and I think this uh, cat and mouse game is always ongoing um, between students and parents as well as teachers. Right, and in fact, I have students coming and and tell me right. Uh, some parents are are very are more tech savvy. Right, maybe they install some uh, uh, apps. Right, they allow them to have more. Uh, uh, a higher degree of parental control over the use of the the smartphones. Okay, the but the problem is some kids are more tech savvy than their parents, right? So, uh, they discover that by going to the settings and find some way to disable the parental control app, they are actually you know free to do whatever they want. Okay, so parents have to be uh, very careful of that if they if if they are going to use some kind of uh, parental control applications. Alright, so uh, I think uh, that's all I have to say about uh, usage of of uh, smartphones. Uh, the message that I, I want to send across to all my students is that uh, learn to use the technology in a responsible manner and in doing so you earn the trust and as well as more access to the technology Okay, and reap the benefits Okay, and then keep the uh, the undesired effects at bay. Alright. Okay. So thanks for, uh, staying with me in this video. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And if you like the video, just thumbs up, dislike, thumbs down. And, uh, I will see you again in the next video.